dear student welcome to your chemistry lab today i am starting redox reaction for class 11 and also for je and neat why i am starting redox reaction at the beginning of class 11 because it is required or it is necessary for stoichiometric calculation of je and neat so watching the white board welcome to your chemistry lab today i will be discussing redox reaction i would discuss first chapter of class 11 that is some basic concept of chemistry and mole concept why i will go to redox reaction that is eighth chapter of class 11 and first chapter of ncert second book of class 11 why i will go to redox reaction because it is required for stoichiometric calculation of je and neat so i will start the class now redox reaction redox reaction equals to means oxidation of reaction and reduction of reaction that is means redox reaction perform simultaneously oxidation of reaction and reduction of reaction you know that oxidation reaction and reduction reaction you read in class 10 oxidation of reaction that is oxidation is the process of addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen reduction is a process of addition of hydrogen and removal of oxygen and this part learn in class 10 so in class 11 in this part i will discuss the electronic concept loss of electron when atom loss a loss a one electron then it is called oxidation that is here sodium sodium loss one electron and form na plus ion here one electron is lost so oxidation is a it is a process in which an atom or group of atom taking part in chemical reaction loses one or more electron that is means when atom or group loss a one or more electron it is called oxidation and second example also go through now here two electron is lost and form ca2 positive one it is a oxidation reaction. and same opposite of reduction reaction reduction it is a process in which an atom or group of atoms take part in chemical reaction gain one or more electron gain one or more electron that is means gain of electron is reduction air chlorine example is chlorine air chlorine atom accept or gain one electron and form cl minus i so it is clear now that is i telling you loss of electron is oxidation and gain of electron is reduction and next part oxidizing agent or oxidant and reducing agent and reductant oxidizing agent or oxidant is a substance which accepting electron or reducing agent or reductant and is a substance which loss of electron that is means oxidation reaction the reagent is reducing agent in oxidation reaction reaction the reagent is oxy reducing agent and in reduction reaction reagent is oxidant oxidizing agent here i will go in this example in this example here copper lost two electron and zinc accept the two electron and from copper form cu2 positive ion and zinc from zn here copper lost the two electron that is it is a oxidation reaction and zinc accept the two electron it is a reduction reaction here oxidizing agent is zn2 positive and reducing agent here oxidizing agent is zn2 positive and reducing agent is copper and cu cu copper so that is means in oxidation reaction reagent is reducing agent in reduction reaction reagent is oxidizing agent in oxidize oxidation reaction reagent is reducing agent in reduction reaction reagent is oxidizing agent so it is clear now it is simple and i will go next topic oxidation number or oxidation oxidation number is defined as a re residual charge Which an atom of the element appears to have when all the atoms that form the molecule are removed as a ion. And oxidation number also called oxidation. I 
think it is not clear again i define oxidation number that is the total charge of the atom now i give you one example that is chlorine when accept the electron it form a cl minus ion that is cl minus ion here minus ion one minus ion is oxidation state or oxidation charge means cl minus one and oxidation state here here in oxidation number here oxidation number it refers to the total charge of on all the atoms same kind of compounds total charge on total charge on all atom of same kind of compound oxidation state it is referred to charge per atom of all atom of same kind in a compound refers to charge per atom of all atom of same kind in a compound so basically oxidation number is a charge when form ion when that is cl2 it is a neutral molecule here oxidation state is zero but when cl minus here oxidation state is minus one when sodium only sodium it's lost a electron it form na plus ion that is only sodium when it is not clear so again i told you oxidation number basically charge of a ion charge of Ion, ion. Now, how to calculate oxidation number? Some rules have. Now, I will discussing oxidation number. Uh, rules for oxidation number to an atom. The following general rules are used for the calculation of oxidation number of an atom in a molecule. First point: the oxidation number of an element in the free state or elementary state is always zero. For example, oxidation number of helium H two N O three Fe P four S eight N A C U Z N R zero in neutral state. That is the free state that is the free state all element is zero in oxidation number oxidation number is zero in free state so it is clear and second point the oxidation number of our of monoatomic ion means one atom is present here potassium monoatomic ion is the same as the charge on the ion what is monoatomic ion monoatomic means one atom at present for example oxidation number of a positive is plus one ca2 positive is plus to Al3 positive is plus 3. Similarly, oxidation number of Cl minus ion, O2 minus ion, and N3 minus ion are minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3 respectively. So it is clear now. And third, in binary compound of metal and non-metal, the oxidation of metal is always positive, while that of the non-metal is negative. The oxidation of metal is always positive, and non-metal is always negative. And fourth point, in fourth point, in compound form by the combination of non metallic atom in compound form by the combination of non metallic atom the atom with higher electronegativity is given negative oxidation number for example hcl here here this point is i read again in compound form by the combination of non metallic atom the atom with higher electronegativity is given negative oxidation number as for example hcl hcl here higher electronegative element is chlorine so chlorine is negative and hydrogen is electropositive the oxidation number chlorine is minus one because it's because of its higher electronegative so it is clear now and next point is hydrogen hydrogen is assigned oxidation number is always plus one except attached with metal hydrogen is assigned oxidation number plus one in all its compound except in metal hydride in metal hydride like nh mg mgh2 ch2 sodium hydride magnesium hydride calcium hydride etc the oxidation number of hydrogen is minus one that is means when hydrogen attached with metal and here hydrogen oxidation number of hydrogen is my minus one and point six the oxidation number of fluorine is always minus one because it is more electronegative in all its compound the oxidation number of fluorine is always minus one in all its compound for other halogen the halogen the oxidation number is generally minus one but there are exception when they these are bonded to a more electronegative halogen atom or oxygen for example h the oxidation number of iodine is minus one but in i in hi in hi oxidation number of iodine is minus one but in if5 if5 here fluorine is more electronegative so iodine is plus five and fluorine is minus one in same case in same case for if7 here iodine is plus seven so it is clear in six point halogen element 
are mostly electronegative in periodic table. More electronegative is always minus 1. When two interhalogen molecules that is ICL that is IF5 and other sediments have here more electronegative element is always minus 1 and other element is positive and 7 point oxidation number of oxygen is assigned to minus 2 in most of its compound however in peroxide that is the OO linkage oxygen on oxygen linkage like sodium peroxide barium peroxide hydrogen peroxide that is oxidation number is minus 1 in OF2 oxidation number is plus 2 in O2F2 containing O minus that is bonded is plus 1 and KO2 here it is also clear this oxide have minus 2 peroxide have minus 1 superoxide that is minus 2 O2F2 plus 1 and OF2 plus 2 in so oxygen is electropositive so oxygen is plus 1 so clear now and point 8 for neutral molecule sum of the oxidation number of all atom is equal to zero but in case of polyatomic ion the sum of the oxidation number of all its atom is equal to the charge on the ion that is mean for neutral molecule the sum of the oxidation number of all atom is equal to zero but in case of polyatomic ionic compounds the sum of the oxidation number of all its atom is equal to the charge of the ion that is co3 2 negative At 2 negative is total charge minus 9.9 9. group 1 element is always plus 1 group 2 element is always plus 2 now we'll stop now i will it is clear now now I am back with next class of redox reaction part 2. So thank you everyone. Take care yourself. Bye.